All right, what's up, YouTube? YouTube. It is the very next day, honestly. Um, I did get a load after all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I can't talk for right now for some reason, but yeah, um, I did get a load. Um, picking up from Tracy, California, and to Idaho Falls, Idaho. So, what's interesting about this load is I never been there before. I mean, I never even been in, in this day in Idaho ever. So. So this is gonna be an interesting one. I did check the weather before I, I set the load. So the weather's all good over there. So I don't need to worry too much. And I don't need to worry too much in general because pretty much winter is over with anyways. <sighs> so basically winter is pretty much over with because spring's about to hit like Wednesday on the 20th. So, and today, Currently, when I'm when I'm recording this, is on the 18th. So, <clears throat> so what's interesting about this load is, um, is a, I want to say, I don't know why, but some reason they're just requiring a reefer trailer. But luckily, I don't need to like turn on the temperature or things like that because this is an empty reefer I'm taking to, and this preloaded one I'm picking up. It's another reefer trailer too as well, which is all determined if I need to turn it on or not. But I have a feeling like it's not going to need to because it just says general merchandise. And most of the, mer most of the general merchandise anyways is mostly dry, but I don't know why they want a reefer for some reason. I guess they don't want, I guess they have too many dry vans up there, I guess. At the DC, the Home Depot DC over there in Tracy, California. So we're about to get ready, ready to leave the yard right now. So, and head on out to this pickup. So I'm just record a little bit of everything, a little bit of driving footage and all that. And hopefully it's okay going. So like I said before, luckily it doesn't need to be on temperature wise. So, and I don't think if I just put a preload, I don't think I need to put the temperature on, but who knows, I could be wrong on that right there so yeah ow these freaking yards so bumpy okay so bumpy all right let's turn this thing around now all right let's get out of here yeah i currently have trucker path on plus that on i like to have two gps then Instead of just one, like I said before, just in case I already said that already, or if not, then you already know as it is. And hopefully that seat doesn't hit my head, hopefully. <laughs> so, let's go to this. All right. I think, uh, I thought he was gonna turn here. Damn it. I thought he was gonna turn here because he had his blinker on from what I saw. I'm not sure if you guys saw that or not, but I'm pretty sure you guys saw it too. Hopefully I'm not just tripping. <laughs> Let's go here. Make this wide. Nice and wide. So, nice and wide here. So, I already did everything before I left. Did my pre trip and all that stuff. The, oh, alright. You gotta chill out, CB. You gotta chill with that. <laughs> and I think I put it in the worst location, honestly. There's nowhere else to really put it besides there, really. So, um, if you guys have a better place for the CBD to be at, then just let me know on that because I can't figure out anything else besides that. So, gotta wait for that car to go because I'm gonna have to take up this whole trail to make this turn. So, all right, always coming to that side. We good. Alright, and I uh, pick up, he's turning here, he's gonna have to wait. Okay, he's not, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to this whole street up. See? I'm not sure you can see to the convex mirrors or not, but... But yeah, ow. Lost a little traction there a little bit, but be alright. Turn left on Road 17, then take the first left. So this is like my, like I said before, it's my really first POV trucking vlog like ever I've ever done. So hopefully it does well. Like I said before, just in case I already said it. I don't remember if I said it or not. 
because tr truthfully I still got a lot of videos to edit too as well which I did record at least two videos yesterday so in this video I'm recording right now it's my third one so so I'm just gonna record as much as I can at least memory wise but I mean I have a good memory card in here so it shouldn't be a problem I'm just worried about my phone if anything that's the only thing I'm just concerned and worried about at most but if I had to delete some stuff from my phone I would and we'll see how long this GoPro battery lasts too as well because I heard rumors the GoPro batteries be dying a lot faster so like way faster than I expected to be but I did buy an extra battery just in case because I'm not sure the extra battery I bought is going to make anything different so <clears throat> at all so Yeah, I'm not gonna activate a drive time yet until I get on the highway. So, so because I want to save my drive time as much as I can here, as much as I can. So, so now I'm gonna pretty much get on the highway. Yeah, this thing wants to regen because it's like Jay breaking on his own. Well, I mean Jay breaking. Now I'm Jay breaking now. So, <laughs> but I'm not sure you guys heard that or not. But it was Jay breaking on his own before. So before even me touching the J brakes. So, so this is interesting because I never hauled a reefer load or reefer trailers like ever, ever since I've been in this company. So it's like quite new to me. And this hay hauler is about to pull out right now. Come on, hay hauler. I'm pretty sure he's driving a Peterbilt, honestly. Like, it has to be a Peterbilt, honestly. That's my guessing. I'll be shocked if I'm wrong, honestly, at that point. I want to put. I'm gonna put my cruise control on in a minute once I get past this guy. So, coast and clear. Let's put my foot all the way down so I get past this guy a little bit. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. All right, let's go do 62. And that thing is going to be really annoying for the TV mount, honestly. If you guys want to know how annoying this is, it's just my TV mount, honestly, because, yeah, the screws that come with it are freaking ass. So they're going to make a lot of noise as it is while driving. And to really, like, how I say this, um, to kind of ignore the noise, I just listen to music, so that's why it doesn't really bother me that much. But since I'm not really listening to music right now because of copyright issues, um, <clears throat> from what I heard from YouTube, so why not? That's why I don't have music on right now. Well, if I wasn't recording right now, I'll pretty much be listening to my music right now, just ignoring that freaking. All right, let's put this to, yeah, let's put there. Well, it's good. So, yeah, and the winds aren't that bad, so. Yeah, all last week was horrible because I had to deal with high wind mile per hours and things like that. So I had to sit for a day or two until they go away. Cause... So I think this week should be a better week this week. So so I'm thankful for that part. So I got some of my damn mouth. I'm not sure what it was, but okay. <clears throat> so basically... Uh, I'm not sure how much of a view, a view oh, you guys are So hopefully it's a good view and I hope you guys are witnessing the bugs, all the bugs that's on my windshield right now and why you slow it down to 44. Hurry up, come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. All right, I'm gonna pass him up. He's going too dang slow. 44 miles per hour, that's ridiculous. But I can understand a little bit of the way he's trying to get up to speed, so. Because I'm not sure if he's heavy or not, so. All the determines on that, because it might take you a while to get up to speed, because how heavy you are, so. Does keep him mindful of that, too, as well. But, seems like I'm passing him up, so. I don't think he's going to go too, too fast, because. Like I said before, I'm passing him up, like, right now. And I hope it doesn't start speeding up when I'm about to pass him, because that shit, I swear to God, is annoying as hell i deal with that on a daily basis and it gets annoying honestly like why can't you just let me pass you <laughs> like come on now 
I'd argue for just being a good sport. I guess not. Watch. I, 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 wait, 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 before I say something. All right, we got a little bit of winds, so it's not too, too bad compared to where I used to deal with it before. And I'm not sure this guy's going 60 or 62. I think, yeah, he's going a little bit faster than me. So just a little bit. So I'm just guessing the speed. I'm not sure how fast he's actually going. So all I know is I'm trying to pass him. So I'm not sure. I think he's doing the same speed as me. So let me just shape break down a little bit. Come on, Jake's. Let me back over. Let's see how fast he's going this time. Okay, he's doing 62. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. What, what did I tell you guys? I, I called it out first. So, I called it. So, <laughs> see? Shit like that. Like, I deal with that on a daily basis with that. So... Oh, that's a nice Peterbilt right there. The only thing I was missing was the stacks, really, honestly. But, I don't know. The Peter Peterbilt's 389s, they look so weird without stacks, in my opinion. Like, they, like the exhaust, like, stray stacks. If you guys get what I'm trying to say with that part. But, yeah, they, they just look kind of weird without it. I think it just looks good without the, with the exhaust stacks, in my opinion. So, I, actually, I'm going to say stacks. Let's just put that out there. Yeah, it just looks bad with the stacks, in my opinion. And I, whenever I see one without it, it just looks so weird to me, in my opinion, honestly. But yeah, he's going 62, so I want to see as many as me. And another thing, too, as well, I'm going at 62, so I can't go no faster than 62 miles per hour. So, and also, I'm going I-80 in Nevada today. So, and what I heard, the speed limit is like 75, 80 miles per hour up there, so speed limit at least up there so this should be fun going like 18 miles per hour slower than the speed limit honestly but what can I do I'm governor at 62 so 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 yeah so <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna stay on I-5 for the rest of the time and and you're questioning if this is right or not but ow 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 and by the way, I have my seat all the way down, too, as well. Like, all the way down to the floor kind of thing. So, that's another thing, too, as well. I have my seat all the way down to, down to the floor. So, it's more comfortable that way, in my opinion. Because I'm not, like, bouncing up and down kind of thing. So, thank goodness for that. Because I really do hate the bounciness of it. So, and all that shit. So, <clears throat> so, so I'm just gonna just get back to this video once I get a little bit closer to the um, to the shipper because I don't want to bore you guys to death with all this content as it is. I'm not sure you guys want to see this kind of you see these kind of videos or not. But me stri strictly just driving because most of the time I like to be quiet when it comes to driving, listen to my music kind of thing. I'm pretty sure all you guys understand that. So, for the most part. So I'm just gonna get back to you guys when I get closer to Shepherd. Hello YouTube, I'm back again. So we're about 15 minutes away from our pickup. So in about 13 miles away. So I might as well just record a little bit before I get checked in. But when I get checked, when I'm about to get checked in, I'm just hang the camera up so I don't make anybody feel awkward that I have a GoPro on top of my head because I really do have a GoPro on top of my head. So God damn, that noise is so annoying sometimes. Like, it's really annoying sometimes. And there's nothing I can really do about it because the uh, screws came on my team out are just fucking complete ass. So, I basically have to deal with it. At least it just stays on there. So, for the most part. So, <clears throat> so we're currently at French Camp right now, California. So, we just gotta pass a little bit, little bit of past Stockton and all that shit. So, Reason why I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to go too fast around here, cause there's a lot of cars and a lot of traffic too as well. And whenever I enter cities like these, I usually just take my time with it, kind of thing, and, and all that stuff. 
stuff and his roads are just pretty shitty not gonna lie like especially i5 like southbound i5 towards stockton all that shit like the roads are so ass like they didn't really do every single lanes up that highway but at least try to do one at a time kind of thing and car can you please hurry up and get over your lane so the reason i'm just staying this lane because i gotta get on the i-205 west so to go to my shipper so so that's the daily all plan there so so we're currently in lake drum california at least from what the trucker pass said so i'm just going by off of that so you know that shit <clears throat> man that flatbed is hella close to me bro <laughs> I get it because of the winds and shit. So, but this is another reason why I'm just taking my time to get there. So, <laughs> but luckily, it's not as bad as it was like last week or so. Because last week was really terrible, in my opinion. Like it was terrible to the point I couldn't even move the trailer. Where I mean, not move the trailer, but I couldn't move the truck in general. It was just too much, honestly. Especially on the light load or anti trailer. Like, the last thing you want to do is roll with that freaking trailer and shit, and then you're going to be the first one to get fired, so. You know, sometimes some of these bat dispatchers will rush you to do it, but the best thing you could do is take your time, and then just got to realize in your brain, in general, that load will get there when it gets there. Like, if you're dealing with high wind mile power conditions, and if you're dealing with, like, winter or snow, anything like that, the best advice I could give to you guys is to take your time getting there. If you have to shut down, then you have to shut down. If it's too unsafe to drive, just don't keep driving. At least till you find a safe location to, to like park it for the night or whatever. So, and honestly, I really did came in this industry in the worst times ever. Like when I first started, it was like barely winter starting, honestly. And that's another reason why I didn't want to record because, you know, I was pretty much new for starters. I was a very brand new driver and I'm really dealing with like so much bad winter conditions as it is but I think most of it anyways from now should be better and pretty much gone for till the end of the year kind of thing but yeah I also have to deal with the high wind mile powers here and there in certain areas and all that shit because keep in mind it's springtime so you know they have kites for a fucking reason so <laughs> during that season shit because of the high wind mile powers so I think that's the only thing that's just mainly to worry about during this season is the high wind mile per hour as I said and a little bit of rain here and there. But other than that, it's not gonna be too extreme, honestly, compared to winter conditions. So should be alright to keep going, like just keep rolling through the months and all that shit. So and another thing about these Californian drivers. They just don't know how to fucking merge. So there we go. I gotta break hell hard. Because people don't know how to drive out here as it is. And going like 52 miles per hour in a fucking 65 or 55, whatever. But you get what I'm trying to say. But <laughs> in a 65 mile per hour lane for cars and people wanna do 50, like what's the whole point of it? Might as well take this damn streets while you're at it, honestly. But you know, everybody's. Everywhere you go, go is gonna have bad drivers, but I think California so far is the worst. And I think the more worst one is actually it's the LA and the Bay Area drivers. Like people don't know how to drive worth the crap, and they like get their driver's license off, off the damn cereal box damn near. So mm. out there, as it is. So so we're almost there. We're about nine minutes out. Seven. Well, I was gonna say seven miles, but technically seven and a half miles, let's just say that. Seven and a half, um, half miles away, and then two and a half miles away until my exit. So get on the I-280, not 280, but I-205, excuse me. Come on, man. Drop it down to 55. It's got a lot of traffic here. 
Yeah, whenever I go in major cities like these, I usually just go 55 miles per hour anyways. Because heavy traffic, you got a bunch of cars coming in and out, even trucks too as well. So you always gotta be cautious of that too. Ow, oh, goddamn. Fuck, these roads are terrible. Goddamn. This back here. Man, they gotta fix these goddamn roads out here. Especially I-5 shit. I-5 is fucking bad when you come in this area. This part of I-5 at least. All right, let me speed up so I can just get over here because I need to take this freaking freeway right here. So I'm gonna have to speed up a little bit. So that way I can get over here. And that pickup truck better not think about it. And then we get over here. That ram fucking lets me, hopefully. No, nope, it's not. Typical ram drivers. So this thing better hurry up. After three quarters of a mile, keep right to take exit 458B. Yeah, I swear, people out here cannot fucking drive, honestly. Alright, I might as well not even go here. There's heartbreaking in front of me. Hazards on. So that way people can fucking slow down. Cause I'm not really gonna be in the right lane, but no one's gonna let me in the fucking right lane. So what can what can you do, right? So at least I'm in the right lane to get over here. So I should be alright with that. Out the last fucking rope there. <laughs> So I'm gonna drop a whole ass rope right there, so After five and all miles, that shit. Right to take exit nine. Four and a half miles. Take exit nine on the right to the Carford Drive. All right, can you stop talking, please? You're interrupting my conversation, damn it! But even though there was wasn't really too much of a conversation, but you know, because I'm just dealing with traffic and shit. They all these merging freeways, which is not very many compared to places I go to. And all that shit. So I'm almost there. So once I get to the shipper, I'm pretty much gonna pick up this camera down until I check in, kind of thing process. So like I said before. So all right. So I won't even spend any more than that. So so we're almost there. All right. Let me get over. God damn these winds. Thank okay. God, because I gotta get off anyways pretty soon. And about three and a half miles. So I just had to thank him for that, because he let me in. All right, so we're almost there. Just had to make sure my phone's still intact and shit. Because I, there was a couple times and several times, actually, not a couple times, several times actually, where my phone freaking flew off and will land in here or land somewhere over here because that's how bad some of these California roads can be, honestly. So, and just ignoring that noise, like I said before, there's not much I can do about that. It's just, it is what it is with that part. <laughs> but luckily, I'm getting a new truck soon, so hopefully, this new truck has a TV mount because the one I have doesn't come with a TV mount, so I'll buy my own, all that shit. And then, kind of work with that but I didn't screw any like new holes or anything I kind of screwed in the same holes I used that was already drilled it kind of thing so I mean it works it works so because at the end of the day I'm a company driver not owner operator so so because if you drill like new holes and stuff you're gonna have to pretty much pay for it kind of thing if it's not authorized by like some kind of like shop or whatever by their shop kind of in a way uh -oh. Excuse me. So let's just do 55. Because. So I'm going to go a little slower. Because I'm about to get off pretty soon, anyways. So. About one mile and a half. About one mile and a half. So. Uh, and so after I pick up this load, after that, I'm pretty much. Then take the first left. Can you shut up, please? So anyways, after, after I pick up this load up and do all my paperwork and all that shit, um, I'm gonna pretty much get a truck wash. So 
so because this truck needs to wash pretty damn bad in my opinion so i don't want to wash it before so i just do it you should do it afterwards once i pick up the tray that's already preloaded because you can be because then it makes sense to do it put an empty tray out when you're about to go do it pick up a preloaded so and either way i gotta go back up that direction anyway so we're gonna stop by blue beacon and lodi and get a good truck wash on the outside, the trailer, the engine bay, all that stuff, because it needs it really bad, in my opinion. Because I don't like driving a dirty truck. That's just personally just me, my own opinion, to title about it. So, um, that's a big ass distribution center there. Is that yellow? Or at least it used to be yellow before they shut down. I'm not sure all the machines. Can you be quiet, please? I'm not sure all of them shut down or not, or some of them still operating. Um, just let me know on that, because I'm not sure. Because I heard rumors they shut down, they closed down Yellow, the company. But I'm not sure all of them shut down, or just certain ones shut down, kind of thing. That's so, a quarter of a mile, keep right to take exit 9 towards MacArthur Drive. Okay, I know. So I gotta start Jake breaking soon. In about now. Now keep right to take exit 9. After 1,100 feet, turn left onto North MacArthur Drive and then keep left. Now turn left and then keep left onto North MacArthur Drive. I, I just turned my blinker, but... Alright, we're almost here, fellas. To the shipper. Man. Oh, shit. It's gonna roll my window down. Just enjoy the nice view and the nice warm weather before I go to freaking Idaho. And Idaho is like at least 50 degrees up there, so. So, I mean, they couldn't get me a little to Phoenix, so. I mean, this. Good's gonna get, I guess. Luckily, the weather's pretty good, so I don't need to shut down or like high weather slow me down to get to my freaking receiver. So, I should be good to go to drive. So, it also, I do, I'm not sure I mentioned this or not, but I do have to go up to Donner's Pass. So, to go to Nevada and then to Idaho Falls. So luckily there's no restrictions up there from at least one I heard of. They're not requiring chains. At least that at least from what I know of so far. So we should be good to go to roll. Do no do Donner's Pass, so we should be fine. And I've never been on Donner's Pass before, at least in a truck I haven't. So we're gonna make this wide. Nice and wider. Oh yeah, I'm not sure how much of a justice the GoPro is picking up with the freaking windshield, but just, just in case it doesn't, or whatever, I have to look through my videos. But yeah, my windshield is so dirty. <laughs> like I said before, a thousand times already, damn near. But I can't wait for this truck wash already as it is. Oh shit. I didn't mean to fucking do a level three. Just hit that by accident. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to Northern California. Enjoying this nice California weather right now because it's like 75, so I'll tell you it's a nice day today. Just have the windows down and drive today. Pretty nice day, and besides the bumpy ass roads over here, god damn. Ow. 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 Alright, we're gonna make this turn here. 
So we basically arrived to our shipper. So I'm gonna pretty much pick up the. I'm pretty much gonna not pick up, but I'm just gonna pretty much put the camera down for now until I get checked in. So once I get checked in, and then yeah, pretty much after I get checked in, I'm, I'm gonna pick up the camera back up again. All right, I'm gonna make this one. Ow, 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 ow! Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, CB. I swear, sometimes I feel like that ain't gonna hit me. I swear. All right, so let me just pick up this camera down. So I'll catch you guys in a little all bit. Right, guys, I'm back. Um, just got check, all check, checked in, all, all that stuff. So I had to sign my towns in the back though for that. And then they gave me a sticker and a number to drop this empty trail off. Uh, 872. From my memory, I think the eights are right here. Um, actually, hold on, let me think. So, I don't know, it's been, it's been a while since I've been here, so I don't remember exactly where the eights are. So hopefully, oh, actually these are the sixes. All right, dang, I didn't make a U-turn. All right, yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. I mean, I have been here before, but, but it's been a while since I know, because I don't remember the numbers by heart, honestly. So, luckily we're on yard move right now, so we just get a little bit of speed going on. <laughs> Just a little bit. You're going to 15 miles per hour over here, I believe. So, your arm move goes up to 20, so. So yeah, I think I'm in the wrong section. Yeah, I am, so I'm supposed to go back there. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, sometimes you forget stuff, so that's why you gotta have that. I'm not sure you can see that or not, but yeah, you guys gotta have that there, just in case, because it's easy to forget shit, honestly. It really is. <laughs> like, you'll be surprised, honestly, on that. So now, and also, another thing too, my GoPro battery's about to die soon. Like, it is draining the battery so damn quick. So I'm at 46% right now. So I'm not sh sure how long that's gonna last. So, this very on that, if the GoPro dies, I apologize ahead in advance. So, with that, because these GoPro batteries are just gonna ass. I'm not gonna lie, they die so quick as it is. And boom. All right, we good. Yeah, it's pretty warm outside. It's like 75 right now. It's pretty damn warm out here. I mean, I ain't complaining. I kind of miss this kind of weather, honestly. Like, I'm just all over winter as it is. Like, especially in trucking. I hate trucking in the winter. And I don't think I can even go back to that, honestly. So, at least I did it one time and I realized, uh, excuse me. I realized it's not for me. So, I think I'm just gonna do OTR with this company, honestly, and just go get a local job out the works. Because I don't wanna deal with the winter weather shit like I did before. So I think I'm gonna just stay with this company for a little bit. It's because of the weather's getting better and all that stuff. So. All right, so let me go here. So we're about to go on a little adventure of finding my trailer. So luckily it's already in the dispatch. So I just gotta pretty much get the paperwork there. So either way, I gotta go this way anyways, because I do gotta get the paperwork too as well for that. And all that shenanigan stuff. Damn, what the fuck happened to that wheel? You just got, you did, I'm not sure the, the camera picked that up or not, but damn, that was a whole wheel missing there. <laughs> like, what happened to your wheel, sir? That shit gone. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't know how it was still even drivable at that point. So I'm not sure that GoPro didn't pick that shit up or not, but damn, that whole ass wheel is gone. <laughs> that shit's gone, gone. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of reefers here too as well. So I don't need to be too hard to find. I just gotta remember my reefer number that I'm picking up, the trailer number. I know it starts with a 7 2. So, 72193 is the one I'm picking up. So, I think it's a newer trailer, I think. I really wanna say it's the newer ones. But I could be wrong, though, on that. 
or at least some of the newer ones. Alright, don't give me a shot here. 72. Someone I gotta drop off at. 72, 72. It's right there, and that guy's in the goddamn way right now. So I'm gonna have to wait. Because, yeah, feeling is. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do that shit right next to him. So I'll be not gonna pull anytime soon. Actually, hold on, let me pull up a little bit. I thought I my setup perfect, but I didn't. My bad. All right, let's go here. I know I look ridiculous right now, but the things I do for y'all, honestly, the things I do for y'all. And I kind of regret signing my channels all the way back now. I should have waited. Because this is going to take forever to maneuver. At least the trailer's right there. Y'all just going to have to wait. Shipper kind of thing. To join the highway. But I don't know, for some reason my GoPro wasn't working, so now all of a sudden it starts working again. Well, stuck in a red light, so now I'm about to hit the blue beacon right now. So we did what we need to do. Trailer's all good. My free trip on and all that good stuff. So so we're basically good to go. So we got another 34 minutes away from our to blue beacon basically. So because I do need a truck wash bad. And then luckily there is a pilot across the way from it. So I do have to stop by pilot too After as well 1, feet, to highway. scale this load because this load is actually 41,000 pounds. Well, close to 42,000 pounds, let's just say. So yeah, so I do need to scale this load too as well. So that's a plus. So hopefully I'm legal on my way. Hopefully I'm only gonna have to go back to the shipper, so. Because I will suck if I have to, honestly. So that's gonna waste even more time and all that shit. So let's hope that doesn't go that way. way. So now, currently on my way to load A. And all that stuff. So, yeah, so I did pick up the preloaded, preloaded um, <clears throat> reefer trailer and on the paperwork there's nothing required of the temperature at all so and then plus I didn't see the reefer on either when I picked this trailer up so that's assume that you're pretty much good not to put the reefer on kind of thing because yeah if you don't so whenever you don't see the reefer on for starters and two, if you don't see anything falls with temperature on your paperwork at all, that means it's pretty much a dry load. So it is a dry load, but on a reefer trailer. And I did pick up a newer one. So this is a newer uh, reefer trailer because it has the logo way in the back and stuff. So, so now we're gonna be hitting traffic jams since it's like 4.13 right now. So yeah, we're like slowing down right now. So. So yeah, we're kind of going to be in the middle of rush hour traffic and, and Stockton and Zach ain't going to be that fun at all either. So I'm going to have to go do a little bit of traffic jam. So before we can even get out of California, but we'll see um, how much time we'll have to drive to Furland because I got stuff in Furland 
Fernley or Fernland. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but it's a little past um, Reno. So I think it's Fernley, if anything. Um, to just, just like, just put in the comments if I said that right. But I'm going to Fernley, California for the next pilot stop over there. Uh, to fill up a little bit we'll i mean we'll see how much like if we legal or not kind of thing if we have too much like weight already as it is then we don't need to feel so far so i think it should be all right with the feeling part but i told him just basically my dm to put the field location anyways just in case if anything so so my next field stop not till like for Furley or Furlin or Furley. I think I'm gonna shut down there, Van Ding. Honestly, I want to get past. Um, what should we call it? I want to get past California, honestly, and to Nevada. So, so that's what the plan is to shut down for tonight in Furley, California, at the pilot. Cause I do need a shower for tomorrow too, as well. So that'll be perfect to take a shower in the morning and then after that and then hit the road from there and then do the rest of the driving until we get close to the shipper i mean receiver excuse me all right we gotta slow down here yeah that's what i mean right here that tracy traffic here so i'm just letting everybody know and back me to slow down Let's put level two. Yeah, we gotta put a J3 now since we're pretty heavy. So usually like I have J3 if I'm like 35, if the load's like between 35,000 pounds or more, I usually use, it's kind of best to use J3, honestly, to slow you down. Cause you're pretty heavy at the, at the end of the day. So at least that's what my mentor told me to do when you're really, really heavy. Like it's best to basically have your Jake's on, on stage three basically when you're hella heavy so so i am on the heavy side i'm i'm almost like forty-two thousand pounds so but it'll be good enough to illegal but if i gotta slip one more tandem bag that's what i gotta do or maybe two or three i say three just to see but i might talk to too soon about that i'm just gonna see how how much the weight is and all that stuff first so because it's because the tanners right now are slid all the way forward right now, so we're gonna see if we need to or not to slide our tandems. So that's all gonna vary on that. So yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of traffic right now. Typical California traffic. Nothing too special on that, so. Alright, so I'm going to catch you guys in a little bit once I get to the Blue Beacon. Alright, what's up guys? I'm back again. Uh, I just got past through that stopped in traffic. It was pretty bad, honestly. I was in there for a little bit. So we're about five minutes away now from the Blue Beacon. So I might as well just record right now while I'm at it kind of thing. So, so that way you guys will see me entering the Blue Beacon, which I'm not sure you guys care enough about it, but... <laughs> But yeah, anyways, we're almost there. We're like four miles away. So yeah, that traffic was pretty much no group, no truck at all, honestly. Yeah, for being how ghetto it is, it could be, it does have a lot of people though, I'm not gonna lie. So it, it almost reminds me of damn near second mile traffic, really, honestly. It's pretty much like that. Basically like my home where I live at. <laughs> But yeah, I'm basically gonna go past through there and then take I-80 from there and then go up the Donner's Pass. And I might record a little bit of videos of Donner's Pass too as well. So that way you guys get a footage of it. And it's gonna be new for me because I've never been in Donner's Pass in a semi too as well. So, or at all, especially in a semi. So I'm not sure what the curse speeds are gonna be or whatever, but when I get there, I'm gonna go really slow as possible because I'm not familiarized with the the whole Donner, Donner's Pass area. So I'm not sure there gonna be really sharp curves or not. So that you gotta watch out for too as well, especially when I'm basically 42,000 pounds. 
which honestly I am pretty heavy I could feel it when I'm driving it so and then I and I did have to use Jake 3 to stop damn near because I am that's how heavy I am so just keep mindful and then these in either way if there was high mile power winds ain't gonna do shit to this trailer honestly because how heavy I am so it's been a while since I got a heavy load I'm not gonna lie so hopefully it worked legal and good after we get our truck washed so so luckily there's a pilot across the street from the blue beacon so i'm just gonna go with a pilot scale this low make sure we're good before we fully hit the road kind of thing and i'm gonna drive a little bit as much as i can today because this all doesn't mean need don't need to be delivered till four o'clock on wednesday and today's monday so and you can see a time right there. I'm not sure you can see a time or not. So, it's about 11 hour drive, I will say right now. So, a little bit less than that. So, if we'll make it there, we damn near could make it there like tomorrow out of full clock. So, so it doesn't need me though. It's at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. So, and today's Monday. So, we got plenty of time to make this load get there in time and things like that. So I'm not too worried about that, the time consuming. So. All right, so now we're gonna take this off and then we're gonna use drink three because we are heavy as a motherfucker. And luckily, nobody's behind us. Well, actually, never mind. Nobody is behind us, but either way. Fuck. Just trying to keep my phone from flying off, so we're gonna use a little bit of braking as well to make this curve here. Now turn right and then turn left onto North Thornton Road. Uh, of course, light. Of course, of course. All right, now I'm gonna have to do really hard braking now since the stupid light can't stay fucking red. I mean green on me, so. So yeah, we can't turn on the red, so because of that sign right there. Uh, what you gotta do is me light. So I did have to do a little bit of hard braking just because the light wants to change me in the last minute. So <laughs> it happens sometimes, no big deal. So just waiting for the light to turn green. Oh, yeah, I took my jakes off, make sure I did. All right now, still green. And also a little reminder, if you see where that white freightliner is that's where i slept on the side of the highway once not gonna lie because that pilot was packed and so it's loves over there so right, let's go. yeah i can feel we're heavy heavy like when you've been truck driving for a little bit you know when you're heavy <laughs> like if it if it, if like the truck takes forever to get going that means you're heavy for sure like you know when you're heavy when you start driving a heavy load so Cause there's a big difference between a light load and a mid load and then a heavy load so and when you empty two as well of course um technically you're supposed to be in that lane but we could be in this lane because there's a lot of room up there so so normally you'll want to be in this lane but i've been this route so many times as it is so i know i can make it make this turn even if i'm on this point and there's other trucks behind it that does the same thing too as well. And here we go, another another mate fellow right there. Two mate fellows actually. Yeah, and also with this company, um, I think I mentioned this before or not, just in case I didn't. Um, for feeling wise, they only feel a pilot and flying J. They will not feel nowhere else. If you do feel somewhere else, then you'll have to basically pay out of your pocket. And not only that, you gotta re and after you pay out of pocket, you gotta get reimbursed it and say the field receipt too as well. After a quarter of a mile, you will reach your waypoint. If that truck was freaking there, okay, we good. Ow. Yeah, I feel it. We're heavy as a motherfucker though. are heavy and there's a loves here there's a pilot here and they both have scales too as well reason why i i mean i try to shut down loves a couple times i'm telling you like wherever it's i don't know i don't know if it's just me or not or it's just bad timing whatever 
But whenever I try to shut down loves, like whenever I try to shut down loves, like it always be packed, honestly. Like always be packed. The waypoint and shit. will be on your left. Like packed as a jam to the point there's no parking whenever I try to shut down love, so I always shut down a pilot because I have more parking I believe. Even even if it's reserved, but either way we get we get reimbursed for it anyways with me, so it doesn't really matter at that point. Because at the end of you're still gonna get free parking, so You have reached your waypoint. The waypoint is on your left. Yeah, I don't always on my drive time, but Blah. after Here. a quarter of a mile turn right. Continue. Yeah, we're about 12 hours something minutes. So we'll drive a little bit today. As much as we can today. Alright, we gotta be careful here. I don't know why though, but sometimes I feel like I'm just gonna hit these rocks sometimes, but But you just want to don't honestly Sometimes you just feel like you're just getting too close to that shit, but you, just, you got a lot of room though, honestly, so A lot of room, a lot of room. I want to put this I want to put this thing on your move, but I can this guy's fucking behind me right now and I hate these damn Qualcomm's too as well because they take forever to change your status and shit they're not as quick as a fucking zoner and all that shit. So that's the only downside about working in this company. Uh, which base should I do? I don't think I'll go for the middle one. Cause either way I gotta put myself on, on duty anyways. Mm -hmm. So we'll just take this one. I don't think anybody was in this one. So I'm gonna just take the middle bay and then I'm gonna catch you guys once this truck is fully washed. Cause I don't see nobody in there. So I'm buying the next one anyway. So. I'll catch you guys in a little 70, bit. 70,000 pounds, almost 70,000 pounds gross. So we're 24,000. Damn, we are so light on our drives. Shoosh. Yeah, and we're, and we're under 12,000 for the steers. We're heavy on the trailer axle, but we're still legal though. That's the thing, we're still legal. So even I, I waste a little bit of fuel, as well, which is gonna happen when I, once I go up to Darn's Pass. So let me screenshot this, and then I gotta send this to the company. It's cool as well. So I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute. So I'm back again. So I mean, we're good anyways on the weight. So I kind of decided not to change because I want to be heavy in my trailer anyways. So I mean, as long as we're under the limit, we're fine. You know, I'm, you know, 33, 33,000 pounds on my trailer. As long as I'm under the weight, I'm fine. Kind of thing. But I really could use and fill up diesel. I think I'm about to shut down here, if anything, honestly. So I'll just do the most of the driving tomorrow, kind of thing. So, so that way I'll just do more driving tomorrow, kind of thing. So, so right now I'm currently waiting for this guy to back in. Dude, you got two spots, bro. Larry, two spots, bro. <laughs> you got the easiest one there is. And I gotta do the one with the, with, only one space to work with so this should be interesting um yeah when i first started i was nervous as hell to impart to do like 45s and like 90 degree backs now i could just do it like it's nothing damn near honestly since i have three months experience damn near now so just waiting for that truck to do his thing yeah that peter bell needs to get out of the way because i'm about to go here Plus, either way, I'm gonna save my time for tomorrow. It's not worth it. You could do it, man. You could do it. I'm just waiting for that guy to bed. Hurry up, dude. Come on. Shaky dude. 
hurry up, dude. perfectly for that spot I'm gonna go for here so alright I'm good I thought this guy was gonna die soon so sorry I apologize in advance excuse my dead battery dies my bad alright we're good Best thing to do when you're really nervous at truck stops, just take your goddamn time, honestly. Don't let nobody rush you, honestly, with that. Because one accident or one hit, that shit goes on the record. okay though you can't always get improved every time so alright now turn the wheel all the way and then now ow. I don't like how shaky this freaking truck is I really don't if anything I think I think I may need to readjust them a little bit here and boom and then boom all right let's hope nobody's on the side of me i'm good Just 
just keep in mind y'all i'm really not the best backer there is so don't judge me for all these adjustments and all that shit but sometimes i got it me sometimes i don't kind of thing so you just either have any use sometimes sometimes some days i'm where i'm really perfectly in my backing and there's some days that where i'm just not honestly so it's gonna happen so don't worry about that Guess what? We could dress some more now. So I'm gonna spray and dress a little bit more on that side. And don't let the angry truck drivers get at you either. Because pretty realistically you're not gonna see them again anyway, so I just feel like this parking space is way too big. Cause I'm really just perfect in the lines right here. So I'm just gonna back in just a little bit. It's supposed to sound like blinding me anyway. A little bit out there, but I'm gonna do this thing. So I can readjust myself. So. And something in a fact to know, I was gonna go with that company, Pride Transport, but the thing is, um, at the time at least, um, they were not hiring from California, so, and I'm from California, so, so I'm not sure that process is still the same, or they actually start hiring people, hiring people from California, because I heard it's really hard to hire people from California because of all the breaks and like the taxes and all that shit, apparently. So I'm lucky enough this company was able to hire me when nobody did kind of thing, so. So I'm just trying to redress myself, so. Like I said, again, I'm not the best backer in the world, but sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So, it's good enough for me. All right, I'm gonna straight back now. Pretty much a straight back. Good old straight back. I could barely hear him so hopefully it was okay with it <laughs> so this is what pretty much wraps up the video so of day two so i'll pick up day three tomorrow and i gotta charge my gopro anyways because it's about to literally freaking die on me so let me take this off right now because for some reason it's making my head hot and right now i'm at 15 percent too as well so on my gopro so just gonna put my charge up wrap this video up and i'll pick back up tomorrow peace